So my question is about farming. Um, it's something that I've been thinking about doing for a while. We've been really successful with our social media. Do you still believe in farming and print media? I do. Um, now, uh, because I can't do anything other than tell the truth, my team currently isn't doing any farming. And, and I think it's a mistake. Um, so I believe in it if it's done right and, and, and that you pick the right areas. Um, you know, then whether you're spending your time on social media or farming or, or proactive, you know, prospecting, going after people have already made the decision to buy, you know, to sell like expireds or uh, fizzbos or probates, um, you're, you, it's the same goal. The same goal is to, to, to get mind share uh, so that when someone is ready, you are the obvious choice of someone that they're going to talk to. And if you do it effectively, and, and pick the right areas. I think it's, uh, it's a great way to have a consistent source of, of business. So yes, I would add it. And I would leverage what you're doing on social media and, um, and every other means of communicating um, to make that as effective as possible. Chris, I'd like to dive a little deeper. Uh, Brittany, do you have anything uh, as it relates to diving deeper to that? So I know a lot of agents do, you know, like the big events. I know I've read some things that I think it was possibly like your teams out um, who have done like, you know, community events and such. Do you recommend doing those type of things as like a with the print marketing? Yeah, but I don't think you need, I think you can evolve into that. And I think you, I think you need to earn the right to not necessarily to do that but to expect that people will participate in it. So, um, you know, it's funny. I just came from another, uh, so we do a, what we call a master class each month. I, we just had Glenda Baker on, who's, who, when you mentioned social media, made me think of her. And, you know, she was talking about, you know, when you're, when you're farming an area, and I believe this wholeheartedly, not just from farming, but in everything, we have to know more about the area, about the property than the, than the consumers. And so picking an area that you are going to really truly understand becomes a key component. And then on social media, you know, the posts you're making, talking about the specifics of those areas, things that a consumer can't, can't find on a portal or can't Google, but things that you know about a specific house that's sold or that's for sale or that why people live there or, or the, the, the real attraction to the, to the neighborhood. Those are, those are, that's content that, that delivers value and delivering value in whether it's print media, email marketing, social posts, whatever it is, that is the absolute key is delivering things of value. And if you do that, then you become something valuable to the buyers and sellers. Okay, well, thank you. I love that. Um, Chris, when somebody is actually choosing a farming area, obviously you said you have to choose, you know, choose wisely. What would be you like the top two things you look for when um, selecting an area to farm and a farm long term? Uh, so I, I think it's important to have an area that you that you like. Um, and because that's that's important. You have to have an affinity for the for the neighborhood or the area. If you don't, it's going to show up. And, and then an area that geographically that, you know, isn't an hour away, right? It should be, it should be convenient to you. Um, and then an area that, that has good turnover, right? So there are some neighborhoods that are like destination neighborhoods where, you know, the only time people leave is when they die. Um, but, you know, being in a, having a, an area or a neighborhood where, you know, there's people moving up and moving down where there's, where there's, uh, you know, all the life events are happening and cause people to sell homes because of those life events. Thank you so much.